What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, you already know, my goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. I'm curious about where both of you guys are at in your lives right now because your BBL is what, like a year old? Your BBL is like a week old. I didn't get a BBL. What'd you get? I just got lipo. Oh. Damn, okay. bitch, your hips, those are not Um, No, I mean, I've got like, like I did, oh, this is like okay. my third lipo, um, whatever. But yeah. you've never but had I've got the, blood shots, blood shots, blood shots. But you haven't had the fat put into your butt. Never. That's usually the preferred method. Why have you uh, Because not done that? Um, when I was poor, I got butt shots initially because it was more money to get a whole lipo BBL. So I got butt shots. And then when I actually went to go get a lipo BBL, they were like, oh, you can't get a BBL if you have butt shots because it's like you can die. Really? They, they took my ass shots out, my second BBL, because I got ass shots. After Unless they take it out. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of girls in porn who are who, who are getting BBL fat transfers on, on top, top of, of their butt shots. I'm pretty sure. Or they, or they go to other countries to do it. Yeah, but these women are ready to die for their butts. Yeah, too. Um, me too. I've dealt Girl, with. <laughs> I died during my second surgery, and they finished. They like revived me and finished my surgery. I ended Literally. up in the hospital after this surgery. Shit was crazy. Jesus. But Christ. I would do it again. Like when I first was in the hospital, I'm like, oh my god, God, please, I would never do this again. After like two weeks, I'm like, yeah, third lipo next year. Fuck it. Why? Why, why are you so year. detached from like like what? You don't care if you die. What is this? What are you telling yeah. me? I think they were just like taking chances. Yeah. And like whatever but I don't you don't know. live like that in every other part of your life right you're not gonna fucking go rob a bank right no because i don't know how but like if i did know how to do it and get away with it like i obviously trust the surgeon that i'll come out alive you know what but women die doing this right it's like the most deadly fucking surgery well, in the, the world BBL is life was not too bad like it's life is way it. safer than okay. a BBL. It. It's it's the injection into your butt that's the dangerous part because if they hit a vein, you'll instantly die. Like if the fat hits touches a vein, it like goes straight. So it's to like your at the bottom you of your butt. Yeah. That vein. So yeah, I don't have no bottom butt. So guys, we gotta get into it. Y'all saw the first clip, and I'm going to be doing a video breakdown later. But I want to speak on this first clip um, with these two young ladies from the No Jumper podcast. Okay. As you can see in the clip, they pretty much admitted that they will risk their lives to get BBL, butt injection, whatnot, in order to look or feel more beautiful. See, what you guys have to understand is that the BBL has become an epidemic, okay? This thing is out of control, okay? And most of these girls who are broke, who can't afford it, go get butt shots instead and they're injecting silicone and all types of all other types of um synthetic chemicals into their behind just so though just so that they can attract a man that you know they are attracted to see this is the reality most of these women are really insecure okay you always hear that women are trying to call men insecure and the, pretty much men, we pretty much use the hand that we're dealt, okay? If you understand that, hey, I'm not the best looking or, hey, I'm not the tallest or, hey, you work to um, overcompensate in other areas, whether it be your intelligence or whether it be your physical strength or whether it be anything, okay? You say, hey, I got to improve in these other areas because I can't, I can't correct or fix something that i'm born with all right but these women they have a cheat code and they've always had a cheat code in life they've always used their sexuality as a cheat code in life and this is a perfect display any woman who gets a bbl is a perfect display um anyone who pretty much gets uh um surgery cosmetic surgery it's a public display of how vain and how insecure they really are okay so when it comes to the insecure talk, we already know that women have that under wraps all day long. But when you see these types of women and they're, they're searching for a certain type of man after getting the BBL, a lot of the times 
they end up just getting used recreationally, okay? Because men understand the difference between what is easy and what is hard. Men respect a woman who works hard for her body, who trains, who goes to the gym for her body, okay? We're not really rocking with y'all BBL chicks for the long run. Um, as a matter of fact, I have not met too many chicks with BBLs who end up getting into a serious long-term relationship where any conversations of marriage have ever been considered, okay? Now, I'm not saying there ain't no big BBL booty woman out there who haven't had that, but I'm just saying it's few and far between, okay? Now, if you do just get the regular BBL, it, the fat transfer, it's a lot more, um, it's a lot safer than the injections, but it is dangerous as well, especially especially because you have to keep getting it updated. It's, um, same with the injections. So it's just like these women are willing to risk their lives for the vanity, and it's all for the D. Don't ever let these women tell you that, oh, no, I do it for me. This No, you're doing it so that you can get a certain type of man, and that's where they lie. They say they post these naked pictures on social media for them. They say they go and get the BBLs for them. They say they go and dress scantily clad for themselves, but in all actuality, they're doing it to get a high caliber man they're doing it to get a high value man they're doing it to get a blue check mark man okay this is what the world has come to all right so without further ado let's get into the video that we're going to review that's a bar I used to be able to do the splits I should stretch more I'm, i can't now I got a BBL whenever I was younger just for like no reason. It did absolutely nothing. Didn't make my butt look bigger because I had no body fat. They basically just like sawed into all my body parts <laughs> and, injected, and injected like 1% fat into my butt. But afterwards, girls do not do a BBL unless you have a large percent of fat really? to transfer. I, literally telling this I swear to God, he fucking sawed into my muscles. Wow. So. Y'all heard what she said. The surgeon sawed into her muscles, okay? And this is why you have to continue to keep getting the BBL because what these women don't understand is that there are mistakes that are going to be made on that surgery table, all right? Especially when you go overseas and try and do it the cheap way, which most women do. You can't work out, right? Your, your muscle mobility, your, your functional mobility before is not going to be the same after you get that BBL. So you're not going to be able to move your legs in the way. You're pretty much just going to be able to lay down and get hit from the back. And I still, to this day, have a lot less. I used to be a gymnast, so I could yeah. do the splits, flips, That's why you everything. Have a good body. I have a lot less leg motion, the angles that I'm allowed to like move it around since then. It's painful as now. Well, alt wow. Wow. So she can't even move around like she wants to. Imagine when those things get old. Imagine when she becomes 60, 75 years old. She's going to be moving like a snail, bruh, with a walker and all. She may not even be able to walk. And these women are risking it. And honestly, it's just like pretty much men were like, okay, Cool, whatever. Y'all look like a damn fool. It's not us. Y'all look foolish doing all this stuff. And men have never required them to do that. See, the what happened was is women who naturally were like that were able to attract a certain type of men. So now the skinnier chicks are trying, oh, I have no body, I have no booty. I'm trying I'm trying to get some booty, I'm trying to get a butt because no guys are really checking for me like that. And then the super fat chicks, the plus size chicks, they're getting the BBLs because they like, ooh, I got enough fat to throw it in my booty and, and this and the third. And it's just like, and then they get the scars <laughs> and then they try and get the little dumbass tattoo to cover up the scars. It just looks, it just looks horrible. Also, a good doctor, if you're, they would look at you if you're skinny like that and say no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A doctor, yeah, no. And I was no. probably skinnier than this then. And I was 19 wow. and they charged me $20,000. <gasps> You saw into me. And this is how you know women are lazy as... I was finna curse, but this is how you know women are lazy as heck, bro. Because they 
will not go to the gym. They don't want to work out. They don't want to eat right. They don't want to maintain their diet. They just want to shortcut it into the progress. They want to shortcut their way into the body that they want. And there's no shut. There's no shortcut for beauty. Okay. Sometimes you might be born with it. Sometimes you got to work for it. Those women who are thick, they have to maintain that thickness and not let that thickness turn into fat. Leave so. horrible screw mark scars on the insides of my legs. So you do like get my scars back. from it. You've seen them. I can oh, have yeah, like I have like really? little holes like on the inside of my legs. Did absolutely nothing. That's not why my butt is big now. That's from something else. <laughs> she goes, That's from something else. <laughs> She's like, I'm Me not working out, twerking, n- not the video. No. This- no, not working out, not twerking, none of that, none of that. They're trying to make it look cute. It's not cute. It's not cute that you were willing to risk your life. You're willing to risk your life to have like two more inches around the waist. This morning was talking to her about BBLs actually. Yeah. I was like, I would That's legit scary. for a month just eat nonstop and then boom. Yeah, but then you might get stretch marks in other places. Well, Should I, I finally tell people what my butt is made of? Honestly, I want to. Did you, do you hear them, bro? Talking about eat for a month, like, I mean, the insecurity is screaming. I know. I haven't been like open. But you have the nicest ass. Yeah, that's what I want to know because Everyone's... it's so good. Okay, yeah. do you want to know like the progression of my ass? Yeah. So yes. first the was memoir. the BBL. Did absolutely nothing besides put marks on my body. Super bad. I do not recommend it if you're a skinny girl. Second, I flew to Atlanta, Georgia with my friend Stephanie. At- so they come into the A. They come into the A. <laughs> they coming to the A trying to get them BBLs, bro. Trying to get them butt shots, man. Y'all better be careful. The time in we got illegal butt injections <laughs> in a hotel room. Oh my god. We flew to Atlanta, but we went to somewhere called El- Look at her friend. She's like And she's talking about it as if it's normal. This is sad. And this is what these women are promoting to these girls, man. These young girls, this is what these women are pushing to them. It's it's really sad. Alpharetta stayed at like a Motel 7, something like that. Oh, there's a Motel um, 7. A oh, woman lobby. came with like giant horse needles and a jug of silicone. It was literally like a f***ing huge ass jug. It was like oily, like oil, but it was silicone. A f***ing horse needle. I'm about to puke. It was like this big. I think I already said that. And she... Be like no painkillers nothing and she'd be like just lay on the bed and then she'd put little dots like on our butts yeah. where she was gonna inject it and i'm talking about maybe like 20 injections with this huge horse needle and you just sit there sober with her injecting your ass and, and the like ass. the pain was so bad but i was me and, and what some of these dumb chicks do is they'll before they'll go and get those injections they'll get they'll um get on alcohol they'll drink some alcohol try and numb the pain but the reason why you don't want to do that is because your blood is going to be flowing, okay? And you don't want to bleed out because you're basically drinking alcohol. That's why you're not supposed to drink alcohol and take pills, man. Be- uh, but these chicks, bro, they they don't even have a mind, honestly. Like, they're just done. Like, their brain is just, I, I don't even know, bro. Just bad decision making. Just, just impulse control is on zero wow my girlfriend at the time we were so desperate Mm -hmm. because we both had very straight bodies like no hips nothing i was like top heavy before so i wanted to be like more womanly Mm -hmm. you know so and literally if she would have just waited a couple years her she would have grew into her body a lot of these women is getting these surgeries prematurely and in all actuality if y'all just wait two three more years your hips will get wider whatnot you have you a baby, you gonna get thicker, like, it's natural ways to do it, but a lot of these chicks just don't wanna work. That's really what it come down to. They just lazy, bruh. But that was like my second, I, I did that two times. My butt was way too big after the second time. About a year ago, <laughs> I got part of my ass literally chopped off. I know, I never got to see the, we were talking about it one day, how yeah. you got to be bigger. I never yeah. got to see. Oh, I'll show you. Since yeah. I was 
legit 15 years old, I've been saying I wanted butt injections to my mom, to everyone. I used to Google in Indiana. Since 15, that's sick, bro. That's sick. Indiana, I'd be like in home, in bed at night, be 10 p.m. Googling the price of butt injections, and it was like there, it was like 10,000. I was like, I'm gonna save up every penny. <laughs> every, She's every, like, I'm missing. getting a car, I'm gonna save yeah. up money yeah. to fucking get. Like, I mean, this is who these little girls is looking up to, bro. Like, wow. Fantasizing about getting butt injections. Injections this will buy me a car one day, I swear I mean, to God. <laughs> that guy will buy you a car with <laughs> the nice that you have. Guys, I'm not condoning like uh, illegal butt injections, but I have to say like the procedures put out by actual doctors, they don't look good. Butt implants. Look at her promoting like she she's lying. You're promoting it. You're promoting it. You're saying, uh, if you want to look think of it, like, bruh, you just said you can't even move your legs. No, like no. it looks fucking yeah. horrible. BBL, if you're a skinny girl, they're literally just going to take your money, scar you up. No, your butt's not going to be bigger. But injections, I have to say my experience was pretty good besides the fact that I made it way too big. Mm -hmm. And again, like I'm not condoning it. It's extremely dangerous. Yeah. But I just don't think in the legal market, there is like a good alternative. Well, my yet. question is... So you can legally get butt injections. So what's the difference? Oh, now, there's, now there's hyaluronic acid butt injections that cost like $10,000 a session. And Acidic butt injections. Hyaluronic acid. Acidic butt injections. This is where they've gone. They do pretty much yeah, nothing. Yeah. Like your butt's gonna look the same. I've I had know they friends. fade away after a while, right? Like yeah, it's they're, the same they're, as like lips and stuff. It'll yeah, fade they're away. not permanent. Also, like even for that price, you're not going to see like a result for the month that they're giving you for that price because hyaluronic acid injections are so expensive. So how did you even find? the illegal ones like how did you google how did she's like up? can you give me her contact i am like yeah, yeah, I'm actually friend. yeah we want to know I'm like, I... you serious right now when women have died on the operating table and i'm not even going to go further because i don't want to perpetuate this and i don't want um her to get to the point where she's explaining how she gets the contact and whatnot but you got to know somebody that knows somebody that's pretty much how it is uh, but anyways, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Send your relationship question to the email down below. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Claim your throne.